you think? This is Tony Eccles Jr. here, Sino Sports Media, Tigo TV. We're here with Coach Anderson, Las Vegas Royals. Um, you guys just had a big game this past weekend. Uh, battle of the best, as they would say. Um, we, I've had a chance to watch three of your guys' games. I've had a chance to watch the ABA throughout the years. Um, for me, I'm kind of, uh, I'm really actually appreciative of how it has grown this team in particular and how much um, like I was telling guys that yesterday was probably or Sunday was one of the best, better ABA games I've ever seen. I oh, appreciate that. Now let's go back to the game. How do you think your team was able to come out with the victory because you guys didn't start off too well. It was kind of you know a little bit of sloppy play on both ends but the Ferrells had a lot of energy early. Did you guys end up being able to pull through? How did you guys end up with that victory? Well, you know, I think one of our biggest strengths is our depth. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that we usually play 10 to 12 guys, where most people only play seven to eight, I think gives us an advantage later on in the game. So I noticed with your substitutions, most of it is not, hey, go get him, go. it's five in, five out. Is that like a strategic plan? Is that something I see your lineups have changed each game as far as the starters and who's coming off? Is that something strategically you're doing? Is it something that you see pregame? This is a matchup we like. Uh, just talk more about that strategy you've been using. I, I absolutely, I, I want to play, I want, I want this team to average in, into the 160, 170s. Okay. Well, you can't can't do that playing seven guys, right. even if somebody gets immensely high. Not at the pace that you need to play at. So strategically, one of the things that we try to do is we try to bring in a quality 10 to 12 guys, and we're going to use them. You know, we're, we're going to, you know, try to wear teams down. Yeah. I don't know if you watch old college basketball, uh, Arkansas, Oh, Arkansas used to do 40 and, uh, minutes of hell. 40 minutes of hell. Yep. You know, so we're going to press you and we're going to run. Or old UNLV teams. Mm -hmm. You know, and those teams played 10, 10 so guys. You have to. So, um, so we're talking 160, 170 range. One of the games earlier this season against the Hawks, you guys hit that mark. In the last game, you guys were a little bit lower scoring. A lot of it, I think, I mean, just thinking back, you guys didn't press as much as you normally would. What was the reason behind that? Is it. I mean, was it a high energy game? You guys didn't want to wear guys down? Was it a different style? Were you just kind of filling them out? So when, when the team has a primary ball handler that looks to penetrate and then kick, and they have shooters around them, it's a little tougher to press mm -hmm. because that person is already in the mindset of being a creator. So he's looking to get the ball out of his hands anyway. So what we tried to do was stifle him a little bit more in the half court setting. But that didn't work either, as you saw in the first half, so. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys end up with the win, so it did work, something worked. Uh, well, he got hurt. <laughs> he got right, hurt. Right, right, so speaking of that, all right. Pharaoh, Royals, this is your first year coaching the team, correct? Yes. This is their first year as an organization. Would you say that that has developed into the rivalry in the city? We know that there's another team, um, Vegas Valley Hawks, but would you say that Pharaohs and the Royals is the rivalry in Las Vegas. Well, and I, I mean, I think it has to be. I mean, those are, you, you were at the game, you saw it's, I mean, two, three possessions either way, and it's a different game. Yeah. So, or their, their star player doesn't get hurt. Mm -hmm. It could be a different game down the stretch. So we got to definitely play with more energy, and we got to maybe come up with a little different wrinkle when we play them. But yeah, I think it, those are the two teams that are going to, Make a little noise in Vegas. Not discounting the other team, but it's based on what what's <laughs> happened so far, we've seen it. Tony Eggers Jr., Sino Sports Media, Tigo TV. I'm gonna let Coach Anderson get to his team. You guys are now ranked number 14 in the ABA nationally. Um, so congratulations on that. Thank I know you, you guys you. are playing in New Mexico. Albuquerque, yes sir. Um, so good luck with that. Clock in, not out. Yes sir, yes sir. Appreciate that. Previous.